just, yes, the, the, the fear of people's faces were literally just, you could, all of them were just running for their life, and they're just, like I said, yelling, get out of the mall, get out of the mall. And I literally, I, I, I went to look for the shooter, maybe out of stupidity, but I, I figured if I could help some people out, and I started just yelling, I saw people still, a few people standing around, I said, get out, go, go towards the front door, go towards the front door. I did not see anybody get hurt. Uh, so George G E O R G E last name C A S T. A witness uh, tells us he's a witness. Uh, that is George Castro, who uh, had just gone in through the Barnes and Noble uh, bookstore there, and uh, definitely heard. He says reports of gunfire. He heard the uh, he heard the gunfire and uh, saw people running and uh, did something to, uh, well, I don't know, I'm not going to judge him, but uh, police probably would say get down or get out uh, if you can, and, and, uh, and he decided to, to, to pursue uh, what was going on there, and uh, people, and, uh, and tell them to leave them all, so he was yelling, get out of the mall, get out of the mall. As he was entering the store, he heard people yelling to get out, and so his instinct, he says, was to go and try to tell more people in the mall to get out, and he said that he heard about four gunshots. Now, he couldn't quite tell, I don't think, where the gunshots were coming from, but he heard them loud and clear, those four gunshots, and uh, did not say that he saw any victims, could not say if he saw anybody arrested, but um, again, uh, yeah, he, he started trying to go towards the gunfire where most of the people and most police, would, and all police would say, go the other direction. Um, but again, he was coming through the Barnes & Noble store yeah. there at the Tanzanian Mall. So what's, what's good about uh, what he told us is he gave us a timeline. He said he checked his mall. He checked his mall. He checked his watch as he was walking in. And he said it was 3.57. On the so it gives us a little timeline. So we're coming up on one hour. It happened just about an hour ago. If we can believe his timeline. 3.57, he walks in. Here's the gunfire. About the same time, our other witness, Mr. Stein, said he hears gunfire and reports about the same, you know, five, six shots, um, sees people running. Uh, he claims to see some people wounded. That has not been confirmed yet. Uh, and also says that he saw some people who were being detained, people possibly uh, in handcuffs on, on the ground um, in custody. So. And both witnesses confirmed that those after that initial grouping of, of, of six to eight, yeah, George says he, saw, he heard four shots. After that initial gunfire, that was it. That was the last.